all right I'm back uh, this is gonna be a long video it's a uh, day after Thanksgiving and I wanted to come up here and tape the property while there aren't any trees on it I'll try my best not to jiggle this camera around too much and I don't blame you if you don't watch it if you're getting seasick from the movement but uh, I own 1,500 feet, excuse me, 1,200 feet of ro uh, road frontage, and I have 1,500 feet of river frontage. This is my driveway here. Should have bought a steady cam for this thing. Uh, I don't know if you can see the house in the video here, but there's a house across the river. That's the river down there. I own uh, 12 acres. And a lot of the acreage is uh, it's on a hill here. Matter of fact, you don't realize how hilly your property is until you buy a tractor. Where I used to go in my little Sears Craftsman tractor to mow the lawn up here, it wasn't bad, but then I brought my uh, B2601 up here with a finished mower on the back. I think it's a FDR uh, 1660, and uh, I discovered real fast how hilly the property actually is. Now uh, I'm gonna walk over here. This is where my property starts at. That big tree right there, clump of trees, my property starts there. And uh, this is the river. I hope I can get close to it. Uh, this is where deer have been bedding down in here. Let's see if I can walk over here, get a shot of the river without falling over the bank. Oh, it looks like I'm not going to make it. It's going to be a big cliff here. But, uh, that's where the river comes in. It's actually, uh, Mill Creek. But, to be honest with you, I don't know the difference between a stream, a creek, and a, and a river, basically. Uh, well, I do know what a river is, but, uh, between a stream and a creek, I have no idea. Yeah, I'll we'll continue walking into the property. I'll get a better view of the, or video of the river there. I just put this driveway in this year. That was a lot, that was a real pain. That was the first time I ever tried to uh, level something out that wasn't level. And I don't think I did too bad of a job for the first time. And now, Right around the corner here is where the house is going to be, and the barn is already there. That's another picture of the river. There's a property across the river there. Really nice people. I've only met them a couple of times, but the couple of times that I have met them, they're really nice. I'm more than willing to give you a hand with anything you need. I'll tell you what, uh, I'll take a, more pictures of the river when I come back up we're going to take a walk around and that'll be on our return trip and this is going to be where the house is going to go I think if you watched my past videos you've seen uh, where the house is going and I still have probably that's about 40 feet deep from uh, right about this stake right here going back that's 40 feet back there at that point right there I still have to go back another 10 feet and I would estimate it's about 35 feet high because my barn is uh, 35 feet at the peak there and that's just about identical and what I've been doing, I've been taking all the sand 
and moving around the property here. I filled all this area in here with sand. This was about a foot and a half to two feet deeper. This took a lot of, a lot of sand here. And with the other sand, what I've been now, this property or my slope started right where those trees, uh, those two trees right there are, and it comes along here and over there. So I've added everything this side here. And what I plan on doing is uh, putting more out here. And I'm going to build a gazebo out here so then uh, we can sit out here and over, overlook the property at night during the day or whenever we just feel like it and uh, almost feel like being on vacation which is not a bad thing at all and now we're going to walk this way here and I'll take it to now everything uh, you see the tractor there everything I uh, it, this was a another heck of a slope here. I had to fill all this in here. Uh, matter of fact, if you know anybody looking for a tractor, it's a international low boy. Uh, I think it's 36 horse. I've got a brush hog for it, and it's a it's a 24 24 low boy. I haven't it hasn't started in years, but uh, if you know anybody looking for one, it's for sale. All right, back to the property, enough of the, the ad. All right, this is, uh, I've also built this pro this point here. If I have enough sand, what I plan on doing is continuing this pathway is what I'm gonna try and make it. And I think I'm gonna go that way as far as I can into the woods and maybe put another little gazebo, another sitting station or whatever. Uh, depends on how much sand I'm gonna have. I got a feeling I'm gonna have more than enough. Because right now, I figured that I've moved about 1,800 yards. And I said 1,800. This bad boy has been busy. Uh, so that's, uh, and I, I had to build this up back here. This was a, a slope again going down. And I had to build that up. And I've got a lot of whittle makers in the my wood pile here so we're gonna take a walk here uh, I got a trail cam set up back here and uh, I don't know if it's a good thing I'm not a hunter so I'm not I haven't seen any deer on it. I just got through checking the video and uh, so I don't know if that's a good thing uh, but I have seen what looks like uh, tracks from hunters uh, walking the property even though I have it posted but uh, we all know how well that works nobody seems to be able to read or respect other people's property and then they get mad when you kick them off uh, just another story so I, now I have to try to remember where uh, I put the trail cam and tried to hide it in case somebody tried to steal it although I got this trail cam from uh, Walmart, and uh, it was $25. So uh, if it gets stolen, I'm not out a whole lot of money. Uh, I'm still trying to learn how to use it. And at the very moment, as a matter of fact, here's the trail cam right here. Uh, I'm gonna put the card back in. Uh, I was starting to say, uh, doesn't matter if somebody steals it, uh, I'm only out $25. All right, so I got that. Oh, I want to make sure it's set for movies. Uh, that was a problem I was having. Uh, well, I can't, I'm not going to, it's a little too chilly to sit here and figure it out, and it's not that important to me. If I get videos, I get videos. Uh, I'm going to take a walk back through here. Now I have 12 acres, and this is all lowland here, as you can, as you can uh, try and shade the sun from it, so you can get an idea of that hill. That's got to be on about through. That's higher than my barn. 
the peak of my barn so uh yeah everything is on a hill here I'm trying my best to keep the sun out of the camera I just got this camera a couple days ago and uh also got it from Walmart it was uh, thirty nine dollars for the camera and so far I'm pretty happy with it it could be uh, I don't have a lot of technology uh, or knowledge when it comes to electronics and that so the simpler it is to use the better off I am I don't need the Wi-Fi I don't need it to go to my uh, phone as well, a matter of fact I have a flip phone uh, everybody laughs at me but uh, when we're up at the property here, I'm the only one that gets reception. Everybody else uh, has to use my phone. So in turn, I charge them a buck. Just kidding. I charge them five. But uh, so I'm very happy with my flip phone, uh, and I don't need to have a phone call every time uh, the camera goes off. I have, uh, I do have that on my house. I have an alarm system on there that notifies me uh, whenever uh, the beam gets broken and goes right to my camera or to my, my my wife's camera or excuse me my wife's phone and oh, I'm starting to run into muck back here so we're gonna take another way out of here when my property goes maybe another two three hundred feet back that way there and there's a river. I was hoping to be able to get to it, but uh, not going to. So uh, I'm getting stuck in this mud. So we're gonna head back and uh, take some pictures of uh, or some videos of what the river looks like. And I'm not gonna be able to take the video of what I actually want to take it of, but uh, the grass is just or the weeds are just too high to get back to where. Uh, Take a video of the river on the other uh, the other side where it wraps around the other uh, side of the property. Now, I hope I'm not boring anybody. If I am, uh, I don't blame you for not continuing or watching or watching the whole thing uh, or skipping ahead or doing whatever we all do. Personally, I. Uh, I watch everybody else's video all the way through. I figure if they took time to make it, the least I can do is watch it. And I give everybody a thumbs up. No matter how good or how bad it is. They're trying, just like I'm trying. So uh, I don't think it's right to uh, give a thumbs down just because it's not my cup of tea. The person, like I say, the person went out of their way filming it well coming up with whatever they're gonna idea to film and then filming it and then sitting down and editing it for well, I've heard people talk a couple hours a day editing their film me you get raw footage I think some people would call this the director's cut like I said in past videos I don't have time to sit there and learn how to edit. I should one day, I will. But uh, at the moment, I'm not really uh, crazy about doing it. There's a picture of where the house is going again. I, it looks like you're not gonna be able to see the hole or the, the dugout in the hill. Too much shadows. And we're gonna walk down here to where the river is and uh, do some filming of that. If you know where I am, there's my sign, no hunting. I will prosecute you. I have dogs that I bring up here and I don't want any of them to get hurt. Plus I don't want the shooter to get hurt hurt so uh, I don't bring my dogs up here during the hunting season I have a boxer fawn in color and 
he would look like a fawn to somebody and I wouldn't blame him if it did shoot him because I didn't have the orange vest on him. That's my fault, not the dog's fault or the shooter's fault. All right, now we're down by the water. And it's flowing pretty good. Matter of fact, it's flowing real good. I don't know how much of this you're going to be able to see, but uh, that's where the river starts. Uh, and all these, those logs going this way, way back there. That's uh, where my pro or my property starts. Comes all the way down here. And yeah, maybe I'll try and get around the side here. Maybe it won't be too bad. Gonna have to hurry up here. I'm running out of things to say. Uh, I'll tell you what. That's gonna be a mess to walk through. Yeah, there's an outhouse way back there that uh, came with the property when I bought it, and there's a used to be a house. There, okay, oh, let's, maybe we'll be able to see the chimney. Uh, I don't know how good you're going to be able to see it, but there's a chimney. Uh, maybe I get a better view. This is all going to be cut next year. The only reason I didn't cut it this year is uh, I figured it gives the deer some place to hide where they can relax and recoup from uh, men with guns. They say I'm not a hunter. I don't know if you can see the chimney or you know, the chimney there, but there used to be a three-room house on there. And uh, right after I bought the property, my kind neighbor kids. We're over here fishing, which I cannot blame them for coming over on the property and fishing. If I didn't own the property and I found this place, I would be trespassing probably also, because it's just great for fishing. Like I say, I have 1,200 feet, or excuse me, 1,500 feet of uh, shoreline, so a lot of places to hook. We get uh, all kinds of fish. Uh, we had a salmon run one year when I, right after I bought the property, which uh, surprised me that the salmon were running up this far. But I've caught a little brook trout, uh, some bluegills, obviously. I caught a mudfish and a couple other species. I haven't caught a pike though. I've seen them, but I haven't caught a pike. But uh, mainly, I fish for uh, carp. I use a ultralight rod with a two pound test on it and it's amazing how carp will fight. It's a great fighting fish. I don't eat anything I catch. I'm catch and release. Like I say I'm not really a hunter but I enjoy being outdoors and I, I uh, enjoy hunting to limited to I guess you'd say fishing because I can return the product without killing it. Or if I do go out hunting, I use a camera rather than a gun. And I don't have anything against hunting. A lot of my friends hunt, and I've been on, and I've gone hunting with them. But I went with a camera, and they went with guns, and so they didn't have a problem with that. And then uh, when they invite me to go fishing, I have my license, but they know that everything I catch is going to be theirs. Because like I say, I don't need anything I catch. I'm not that crazy about fish. and uh, So that's about it on that. Well, I'm sure I bored a lot of people that never got this far into the video. So uh, I'm going to close this thing up now. I've got a couple more things to do before I can head back home. We don't live up here. But I'm just uh, putting my tractor to bed for the winter. I jacked it up. And put jack stands underneath the tire or underneath it so my tires are about an inch off the ground so over the winter I don't get a flat spot disconnected the battery top the gas the uh, diesel fuel tank off I don't know in the plastic tanks if you get a uh, condensation or not but uh I'm not taking any chances I didn't put anything in there for uh, the diesel to keep it from gelling because 
basically this is the last time I'm going to be here this year. Uh, I don't have heat in the uh, barn, so well, I got space heaters, but uh, you know, you know, I breathe that crap so long. So uh, th this is going to be it for uh, this year here, and uh, I've got some other mods coming next year. It's getting a little too cold to uh, work on them in the barn, so I. Next year I'll be putting out more videos with different mods that I'm thinking of and we'll go from there. Well, as always, my videos are free. Thank you for watching.